Gregory Parks. Welcome to ConLink. With me this time is Wendy Bowlesby. Hello, Wendy. <laughs> How are you doing today? Well, hi, Greg. I'm doing good. Beautiful. So what is your official title for Convergence, for the work that you do with Convergence? Right now? Yes. My official title is Head of Ceremonies. Head of Ceremonies. So what have your, what have your past or what has your past involvement with Convergence been over the last several years? Now I've got to do math. Hold on. <laughs> I was a board member for 12 years. I took two years off. Wow. And then I took over ceremonies. Jumping around, wearing many hats. On that note, what is the story of the part you played in the creation or development of Convergence? Convergence as it existed, as it exists now, like and and how the the board and then the concom that formed around that came to be is a weird connection of events. I did a play at a sh at a theater called Fool's Tree, and through that I met uh, Rob Witoff and got to know Timmy Run better. And through that I met these two people called Chris Jones and Leslie Powell, and I started hanging out with them. And I already knew Tim and Pat from Convergent from Renaissance Festival, so I was right there at that beginning point. Leslie is the one who really got the ball rolling like she started organizing community meetings and then it was just this weird random connections got made and then suddenly there were seven people who were like yes i'm i'm willing to commit to all the time in the world to make this happen and i happen to be one of them beautiful so when you so you said your er, your first involvement was as a member of the board for how many mm -hmm. years you said 12 12 years who Wow. That was a very long, very long time. <laughs> How many is that in, in human years? <laughs> mm. Well, the first, the, to be clear, uh, that's 12 years of convention running, but we actually started 18 months before the first convention. So, and that first year we were meeting every week for four to six hours and then probably emailing another three hours every day. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I think I'm like 85 years old in convention years at this point. <laughs> that is a hefty commitment. It, it wasn't, uh, it didn't feel like a commitment. It was what we wanted to do. Like, that was what we did for 18 months was we wanted this thing to happen. Since then, like, we've all gone on to do a variety of different projects and everything. But for that 18 months, that was pretty much what all any of us did. And it was exciting and like I know that right now everybody goes oh y'all are just such great friends what is it that you love about the convention what keeps you coming back to the convention what keeps you involved con I love that convergence always surprises me there is always at least one moment where my head whips around in joy and bewilderment of just what just happened? What was that costume? That was so amazingly creative. I never would have thought of that. Or somebody says something brilliant at a panel, or you witness somebody be really amazing in the hallways. Convergence is at its best just this huge celebration. And I'm so happy that I have that every year to go to. Literally, I think, yeah, our first convention was like, it's just a party. It's a celebration of science fiction and fantasy. It's whatever you want to be. We're not even going to define science fiction and fantasy for you. Do you get, do you love it? Do you geek out about it? Come share it. Because even if I don't know what in the world you're talking about, your excitement is contagious. And I just want to be around it. Yeah, that's, a, that's a fun thing to spread. And it's good to watch it spread. I'd, I'd like to think that more people have had, that plenty of people have had moments like you said that you and Pat had, just looking off of, looking off over the garden court, looking at people just going, wow, this is why I'm here. Oh. It's an amazing view. Like, there's always one thing they're like, what is that? <laughs> and there's always one thing you're like, oh, that's amazing. The creativity that people bring. 
So with, with all of this in mind and all this energy and influence in mind that you've talked about, what do you want to see in Convergence's future? I want to see that we keep being excited. I want, I want to make sure that we don't, that we keep bringing the new in, the, 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 the excitement in. Um, I want us to always have that vibrant youth that's around us. Um, when we, when we started the convention, like we looked at our concom and we were so excited that there were concom members who were 20 and there were concom members who were 50. Like it was this wonderful breadth and it's continuing. If you look at who's running the con there, yes, there are a lot of, um, still that older. And I'm now, I'm now that person who's closer to 50. <laughs> um, but we still have a lot of young people who come and get involved. And I think that's so important to make sure that we keep being vital and we keep the the generations keep moving forward oh beautiful well thank you wendy thank you for your time and thank you for joining us via remote and you have been watching conlink